I just wanted you to meet my good friend Hanson, who's a great Hello. healer, and, and he deals in with all that stuff. And um, what were you saying? Uh, we were talking about the end of The Dark Crystal, the classic children's uh -huh. movie by Jim Henson. The end of the movie, how... Do you want to talk about it? Do you want to yeah, I do. describe I mean, it? Well, Why is it your favorite movie? Why is it my favorite? Oh my god. Okay, so basically, you know how we all have that movie that we resonate with more than mm -hmm. anything? Mm -hmm. This was my soul path before coming here, and I remember the first time I was like tiny when I watched that. It was so incredibly powerful to me to watch them not in rejection, because every movie, right, is about the triumph over the darkness. And this was the first time that I ever saw them like really becoming one. Mm. The darkness and the goodness coming together. And then becoming something creating better. Creating something even greater. Instead of than... like something, I mean, because it could have just been like this distorted, like, okay, well now it's just, it's the human mind which basically does, well, if you add a little bit of darkness to a little bit of light, you get half of what's good. That's totally like a, a not awake human way mm. of approaching it. Mm. So the fact that it became something even more beautiful than these two split forms was like, I could not believe it when I was a kid, and I resonated so much with the the character, right? The Jen is the character, the mm -hmm. main character of this movie was just this Gelfling because he was Gelfling. orphaned, right? Which was how I was mm. emotionally in my family. And, and then he met the female yeah. Gelfling. Uh, oh God! So he didn't have to be lonely anymore. Exactly. <laughs> and so like I resonated with it, feeling like that's my mission. And I, I just to create the greater, the bringing together yeah. the 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 disparate ends of humanity that the. the the part of humanity that is so so called good yep. and positive and visible yes. and the darkness yes. the part that is rejected and, and pushed away and, exactly and, yeah. and i always know this is a test of intelligence every time somebody says that that's one of their favorite movies that movie for me it's not just an entertainment piece and you know what's funny when they asked jim henson before he died what is what do you consider to be your greatest masterpiece that was his answer oh i didn't know that i'm gonna actually have it's to watch it's an incredibly that. spiritual movie it's for ridiculous. children it's like ridiculous i am going to watch it yeah it's unbelievably wow. advanced. But tell her sort of some of the stuff you do. It has a lot of echoes with what you were talking about because it's about looking at the human being and seeing how we exist and without judgment, mm -hmm. building awareness um, to get in touch with, with all the various levels. So as we do that, then we begin to be able to interact with existence in a, in a new way. And, and I see it as being like becoming essentially those light beings yes. that at the end of the movie. Yes. Yeah. But you go into people's pain, like you feel the pain with the energy. And like, yeah, there's empathic aspects to it and I can release, um, I, I talk about it like releasing suffering sometimes. Um, it's a little, I don't know if it's like a little extreme for people to hear that. No, or not, it's but, what, not any more extreme than what Teal said. But if, if the mind's fighting it, then that doesn't really serve. That's, okay, so here you have, this is my, my personal. Okay, tell me. Um, everybody has like a challenge in their career. Mine is what to do with resistance. What he's describing right now is actually resistance. That's what he's talking about, right? If people resist that maybe they're not ready to go to the depth. I mean, you can't but, force them. The I, I agree, but, this is, but it's so fun to try. So that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I have got to accept that potentially I will never be able to break through a person's resistance at the same time as knowing that, you know, just like perfection technically can't be achieved. You have to be aiming towards it. So my aim has to, I want to master human resistance. I am nowhere we, near that right we, now. You know, we, can, we, <laughs> we should talk and do some stuff because the resistance I think can be handled when we go underneath the level of, of I, where I also, that resistance is. The resistance is also a thought form possession. There's no reason anyone really wants to be dense or unconscious or... But, but there's a, a thought form reality that's overlaid yes. that they've believed and I, that's I what resistance is. I actually think it's just like the Skeksis were fighting that process, you know, once they became those beings, it's mm -hmm. like everything is good. Like which there's is, no need to fight. Is, yes. And then they were fighting something the whole time that they didn't need to fight, mm. you know, and that's us as human beings. Like we're constantly fighting, fighting, fighting. That's what resistance. actually is beauty. It, when you, when you finally get through, it's beauty. It's not. Yeah, really? Yeah. You know, well, the parts of me and other people that the parts I was the most terrified of mm -hmm. and convinced are the darkest are actually, it's like you get in there and it's like a little puppy. I mean, mm. you know, that's right. Yeah. It's the, yeah. it's like the fear and the resistance. That's the actual yeah. issue. A lot of the time. This is what I say about ETs. Everyone's afraid of them, but that's just a higher aspect of themselves that just wants to serve and uplift. But that's, we're afraid of the unknown and there's nothing to fear. We're not there's, afraid of the unknown. We're not? No. What are the people afraid of? What we project into the unknown, which right. is definitely it's, known. It's mm -hmm. the known. That's what I'm saying. It's there's nothing you can be afraid of that's unknown because we're only projecting. The unknown is wondrous. 
Yeah, well, I agree. We've all made our home there. I like when you light up there when something sparks there. Oh, this it's is like... my, you were talking my favorite subject right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know they're remaking the movie. They're... Yeah, and I'm I'm holding my breath. I'm just like so scared. They they can't mess they might... it up. For, they cannot mess it up for me. They like... they they might. <laughs> but if nothing else, like the ex the original exists. Yeah. And it's perfect. Wow. I'm really excited but terrified about watching that. Yeah, Don't I'm be, excited just to terrified. see. Just... You, you'll want to hang out with me, or you might, might not, depending on how that goes after that movie. If it goes badly, I'm going to be the most rant. I will rant. I will let myself rant. Do it. <laughs> I'm still holding out for it to be good. It will be good. I know, we're evolving. Handsome. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Teal.